Hello everyone, it's Dragana from Sasebo. I'm here with another flip through and this is a really special one. It's a custom order and it turned out really lovely. So let's begin. To start off, I've created a little sheer like a drawstring bag for the journal to be kept safe and it looks really nice. Okay, let's open it up. You can see. It's a really big one. It turned out really big. Um, I had the freedom to basically do what I want. Uh, the only guidelines I got um, from the customer is uh, colors, color scheme. She preferred like neutral colors, beige with a touch of pink and light blue. And she liked really vintage looking ephemera in the shabby chic style. But um, as I, I actually worked on it on the signatures first and uh, I've completed the cover at the end I had to see how much it's gonna be in there and I wanted to make sure I can fit everything in nicely so that there's no you know gaping um, so the journal turned out really nice actually uh, for the cover I had this lace uh, crochet piece uh, in my stash that I recently tea dyed and uh, I tested it out to see what it would look like and it looked so nice I decided to use it. It is a little bit bigger than the actual signatures but that's fine it just adds to that kind of like a you know, shabby look to it. Um, the customer wanted um, a little tassel so I made it with the remnants of the fabrics that I use throughout the journal. It can be removed, it's on a safety pin. I added the, this nameplate, I left it blank for her to write her name or the title of the book, I don't know. And I also created a little charm with her initial. Um, with, and a little key. This is like an antique looking doorknob thing and another piece of crochet lace that was actually done by my grandmother. I tea dyed it to, this, to sort of match with that distressed look. The closure is quite simple. It's just a wrap around piece of cotton. And I'm going to open it. So, as you can see, that I intentionally left this part hanging over. Um, there, there is a piece of uh, muslin fabric underneath, and then this is on top, and it's all been stitched together with the cardstock and the paper. You can see. So I didn't actually glue this fabric on top, I just placed it on top and then stitched together with this so it stays in place. It looks really nice actually. And the signatures fit nicely in, inside, it's like, just, it's gorgeous. Okay, so let's begin. Open it up. Okay. This time, each signature, for the cover of each signature, I put some of this vellum paper that I had in one of those old photo albums. I probably bought it like 20 years ago and I never actually used it. I put a single photo in it. It's completely empty, blank, and because the paper is a really good quality, I decided to use it in my journals. So, I normally put like a hard stock or thicker paper for the signature covers but this time I felt that this journal needed something more 
uh, like squishy like this. I don't know what to say. Uh, it's um, because there's a lot of lace. It's a shabby chic style. It's kind of like really um, freestyle, I suppose. Um, playful. So I thought this would be a good thing to do. Okay, here I created like a is it like a double or triple pocket that I created from a single sheet of music paper that I folded, added some um, tea dyed paper and I glued it just around here so that there's a space here for the side pocket and uh, like a bookmark that can be written on. Um, one of the flower cards. This is like a little cluster that I created. There's some, a lot of stitching in this journal. I like to do a lot of stitching in my journal. Uh, the papers I use are all either tea dyed or really old. And so just to add to that look. There's like a belly band that I've done with some pieces of paper. This is like handmade paper some cheesecloth I think if we put in there I sort of glued it so that it can be used as a belly band or just a decoration um, a bit of stenciling here and this one I thought this lace would be a nice addition because the page was short and I didn't know, didn't know how to sort of I didn't want to cut the other side and I really wanted it this way, the right way, rather than turning it upside down to fit it all. And I thought I'll just add a bit of lace to extend the page kind of thing. That's a crochet piece and a little tag with a key charm on it. This is the backing of an envelope. It can be written on. Okay. This is a journaling card. Uh, this design is going to be in my new digital kit that I'm actually working on at the moment. Not sure what I'm going to call it, but it's about forest and forest creatures. Um, another request was that there's a, a lot of charms, so I tried for each signature, I tried to put at least three charms attached to pins. Um, paper clips and this one's got a little music symbol again a bit of stenciling to match that blue color this is this was like a shirt that I tea dyed to get to look a bit more vintagey okay and another stenciled flower. I added bling to this flower center just to make it really a bit, to lift it up kind of thing. Um, this is a printout of the old newspapers and a bit of tea dyed paper lace and actual real uh, doily. This was done by my mother-in-law very pretty and delicate work. Okay. So we come here. Um, this was a bit of a collage that I decided to turn into a side pocket and add a bit of uh, a cluster of fabric pieces and laces. A bit of stenciling there just to connect it all together and this is a, like a card. This is designed from one of my digital kits I think lace collection in beige and the, this is like a real music sheet not a printout and a couple of tags that I've done a while ago and I thought the color wise they work really well for this journal and another little cluster here Okay. 
another little paper clip with the Eiffel Tower charm and this uh, tag that I've done a while ago it's a really nice one it says happiness there's uh, some music there and a lace butterfly it's light pink at the back it can be written on Now this one, i um, done it like separate, I think I printed on tea stained paper and as it printed out, the printer did something to the other half of the page because the page is a bit, the paper is a bit wrinkly so it sometimes happens. So I just, I didn't know how to save it and I really didn't want to waste this image so I cut off that part and I reinforced it with a piece of scrapbooking paper and I just thought I'd just clip it in like that there's so many things in here okay. more writing pages uh, this is a uh, one of those hidden paper clips with a pocket. There's a pocket here and if you can see there's a paper clip in there so it can be clipped on top of the page like this. And um, this is the, my handmade paper. I thought I would leave one. I left it blank. So. And here, another piece of my handmade paper with a printout of this lovely girl and a bit of lace and uh, one of my yo-yo flowers. It's all been stitched together. The paper, the cheesecloth and the picture. And I didn't want to fix it. I thought it's better if it stays here and it can be moved or used in another journal. I don't know. And we come to the end of the first signature. For the second one, again, start off with the vellum. And I made this belly band and the little, like a booklet kind of thing. I used the whole sheet of music paper and I put lace on top, like this. And I stitched around and added a little cluster. Inside we have four pockets and in each one I try to put something, so, some music sheet, like a little bookmark weighed with the tea bags, um, another piece of journaling spot actually, a piece of paper and another little bookmark and uh, a little cluster on each side so closes like that and it can live in here. Mm. More writing pages. This is like a tracing paper that I printed on top. And the idea is um, things can be written or pictures can be added here and then this goes on top or it can be just like that or maybe little bits and pieces can be glued on top I don't know. Um, another journaling card that's gonna be in my next digital kit that I'm working on currently and a paper clip with a flower charm a bit of stenciling here this is a trim that I had from some cotton tablecloth or something looked really cute and I thought it goes really well with this distressed look I added like this handmade charm it says like cardboard I um, protected it with varnish and I added the beads these ends here the bead are actually 
not beads, they they come from uh, guitar strings. My husband is a guitar player, and there's, I asked him to every time he changes the strings on his guitar to leave the strings because I can use them. And these come from the end. I don't know if you can see, it would be waste. Uh, it would be actually. I didn't want to waste it, so I thought I can use it for my little charm. They're really nice. They have. They come in gold or bronze or silver color. So that is it. And there's a little tag with birds. I uh, did some stenciling over this page and then I drew around the flowers to make it stand out more and I added some of the... I think this is um, glass. This is like a that, like liquid pearls kind of thing but it's used for to paint on glass. Uh, I think I used gold color for the flower centers. And here we have a piece of this, and it's probably, it's just a piece of lace and another piece of lace trim and some flower and a little button that I, I just stitched it all here and uh, I suppose things can be written here. Another pocket made from a book page and some trims. And, um, I think this is from my Dream Diary collection of this postcard. But I added the real actual stamp that I had uh, and I just put a, a stamp, these wavy lines to make it look like it's been sent. <laughs> uh, this is a really old stamp from Australia. Oh, looks really old. But I thought it goes really well with this one. And this is a picture of the lighthouse. Okay. Now here we have a little envelope that I made from scrapbooking paper. Oh, I didn't put anything in it. I might later. And a bit of cheesecloth and a die-cut butterfly. It's attached to the page with a paper clip. And there's a little umbrella charm here. And we come to the center of the middle signature. Again, this is a printout of an old magazine, but I printed it on tea dyed paper to make it look um, more vintagey. And this is the doily that I have done actually, probably some <laughs> 30 years ago. Uh, recently found it and I tea dyed it and uh, yeah I'm ready to let it go here we have another piece of uh, fabric with an image a lady with an umbrella and I thought I'd just tuck in a bit more music sheet I created a, like a side tuck here not just to cover the stitching here, but I thought it looks really nice and a piece of fabric as well uh, that's been hand ripped and uh, zigzag stitching. Things can be tucked in here. And here we come to a side pocket. I actually, uh, this is from a book. I took it out of the book and it's like the forward page just before everything and this is the name of the writer it's kind of uh, famous in Bosnia um, and it says here in two languages I'm not sure the first language could be Turkish uh, not 100% sure but it's uh, written in Bosnian as well and it says whatever is written it stays and what's uh, what we remember it, you know, evaporates kind of thing, saying in other words that it's important to write things down 
if you want to remember them. Uh, so there you go, the journals are for inspiration but also for writing, I think. And I thought it's, that's a nice little touch there. This is a, a, I actually used this, I printed this rose on a tea stained paper and I folded it so it goes over the page. And here we have a pocket, and here we have a pocket, and on this side I added a bit of lace. And this this page was really tea, tea stained really well, and the edges look really dark, so I thought it was really nice. And I just put a little, like a booklet with a piece of handmade paper inside, and some butterflies and moths. Okay, here we have a bit of stenciling in light pink. And another belly band made from that same book where this came from. Uh, and a little cluster and another tag that can be written on. More stenciling here. And with this one I actually printed this these dragons onto the book page and then I folded it in and I used the fabric as backing so it looks really nice still made like a belly band and I tucked in some music paper that I tea stained as well it turned out really nice I might have to do that again sometimes sometimes I just run out of ideas but this is actually a good one Okay, more of the tracing paper, writing spots, the plane, and here I made a little, um, like, double pocket from a junk mail envelope. Um, you can see there's a pocket there, this is the window, I'll put this out, this is the window, I'll put a piece of paper underneath the make it interesting and I folded it in so to create a pocket here there was some writing here I just put a piece of paper to cover it up and I used stenciling for the rest and oh yeah this is like um, printed another magazine page old magazine page on the tea stain tea stain paper Make it look more vintage -y. and oh, it looks nice in here. This is one of the flower cards from one of my kits and uh, stitched around and can go in here. Oh yeah, that's the end of the second signature. Now come to the third one. Again, vellum paper. But for the start of this one, I decided to make like a little envelope There's, uh, that I attach here with, a, with this clip with a butterfly charm. That's the envelope. I made from music sheet and fabric. This is how it opens. So what I did, I had a piece of music paper and I lined it with uh, this thin fabric, folded, but I added this lace to the front bit, if you can see. So, and I left the ends like that, I liked it, and I added a bit of a cluster here with some fabric, stamped words, stamped writing actually, yo-yo, and a Little, little flower. This is just a tea stain. Or was it onion skin stain? I can't remember. It turned out really nice this paper. It can be a genuine spot. And here we have another one of those music papers. The blank one. Okay, with this one, this is just a, a tea stain paper doily that's been folded in half and just wrapped around 
I did a picture of a bunny and a little hanging charm that I made. It says here there is only love and on this side the flower picture. It's actually made from layers of cardstock but it feels like wood. It's not wood and it's been protected by varnish but it looks really nice. I made quite a lot of these and I'm running out. I should make more. <laughs> um, more stenciling. Again, a music sheet that was, and I folded it too short, but then I added a bit of lace. And I don't mind that it's shorter now. Uh, we turned, flipped the bottom up, covered it with some other paper to make pockets. And I put some journaling cards, some tags, and little clusters. And this one, um, this is like a book page that I folded, glued, and then added a bit of lace fabric and a piece of a tablecloth. An old one, it's really soft and nice, and it can be used as a tuck spot. Now, I've made this uh, little card with a photo. This is the photo that I had um, of my mother when she was a child with her favorite doll. And I scanned that photo in and I printed obviously, I can't actually give away the original. But I printed it on proper photo paper and I distressed it a little bit. And I really like this photo. Uh, she looks really happy there as a child being given this beautiful gift. So this is like one of my personal touches that I like to add. Whether it's a flower, dried flower or my own photo or something. Um, another journaling card from the kit that it's going to be out soon. Um, there's a little charm of an uh, owl, little, yeah, owl. Journey uh, cards, blue flowers, and another center. Again, print out of the magazine page on tea stained paper, tea dyed. Paper doily and a real doily inside. This is again done by my grandmother. Came from a piece, bigger piece that I cut out. Looks really nice. And over here we have another belly band made from a book page. And I've made this little like a notepad with some leftover papers. Again, Looks really nice in here, and another one of the flower cards. Now here, I just I had this piece of like a silky fabric that I ruffled up, and I stitched on top of this uh, piece of paper, and then I just glued it here. And I thought, oh. This sand was a bit ha hanging down a bit and I thought I'll just add another one of my charms. This was created from, um, this is I think recycled, was it like cards like, you know, like that I used as either credit cards or, or pass cards or something and I just cut it out and I used some um, bronze wax and I put a picture and this is like a little bit I think gold paste so it looks like it's a metal thing but it's not it's plastic uh, it's really cute and then I think I put a lot of varnish or was it a diamond glaze I can't remember it's been a while okay this has another one of those pockets and one of the tags that I've done a while ago. I added, uh, extended this page by adding this piece of fabric there because it was shorter again. 
So what we have here, another genuine card with that kit that's not out yet and a dragonfly little charm. Here there's a cluster, little cluster in blue and beige. And with this one, I had this uh, gardening book that's really, the pages are really old. The pictures of it, they're not so nice, they're just in one color, like. But then this piece was, there was not much writing apart from this saying, a beautiful garden, translating. And I just put it through my printer and I printed this, this flower on top of that page and it looked really nice, as if it was there the whole time. So I just made it into a pocket. And I put this little notepad. This was just made with the scraps of paper. And it says Embrace Life. I think this blue lace goes really, ties it all together. here as well. I just like the edge of this. When I cut off the paper, this this was left and I thought, oh this is such beautiful like natural staining that has occurred. I don't even have to use the uh, ink on it. And I thought, oh, I just wanted to put it there and to reinforce the page anyway. Sometimes the edges get really fragile. Now here we have another one of those belly bands made from a book page that I added some fabric and some lace and I made this little fabric envelope. Let's see what's inside. There's a, like a clock charm on it and it's one of those that open up like this. Oh yeah, I actually stitched with the fabric. Yeah, it's stitched through the middle. I don't know if you can see. Sheen stitched. It's got little, it's like a little journal with a fabric cover. A picture of a lady admiring her roses, some writing space and handmade paper. And it just closes up like that. I think it's a nice addition. And we come to the end. There it is. I did not put any pockets on the covers because I feel like there's quite a lot happening and there is a lot of pockets and tucks and belly bands throughout so I didn't want to put anything on the covers. Also because this the cover for the signatures is quite a thin and, and, and kind of fragile paper and if I put something heavy here that might actually destroy this paper. So I think that's about it. And I'm about to wrap it up and send it to the person I made it for and I hope she likes it much as I do, I really enjoyed making it. So, that's it from me today. Thanks for watching. Bye.